the Ninja Gaiden franchise is renowned for its demanding gameplay, and Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 was no different. Even when playing on normal difficulty, players were expected to have a good understanding of the game and its mechanics in order to beat it. To earn the Platinum Trophy, one had to not only complete every chapter in the Master Ninja difficulty, but also attain the Master Ninja rank in each chapter. Although beating the game on the highest difficulty alone would have been a significant accomplishment, the added requirement for perfection was deemed excessive by many players. Radiant 4 is a vertically scrolling shooter that puts players in control of a highly advanced fighter jet tasked with defeating enemies and saving the day. While the game was enjoyable on normal difficulties, earning the Platinum Trophy required a more serious approach. To qualify for the trophy, players had to play the game on ultimate difficulty and were not allowed to use any continues. This meant that if their jet was shot down, they would have to restart the entire game from the beginning. Battlefield Bad Company was a well-received military shooter that was entertaining in multiplayer mode upon its release. However, for many players, the fun factor wasn't enough to justify the grueling effort required to earn the Platinum Trophy. To attain the Platinum Trophy, players had to accumulate 10,002 kills in multiplayer. This could take hundreds of hours and involve spam joining matches and defeating real-life opponents. Racing games are well known for the challenging Platinum Awards, and Wipeout HD fully embraced this reputation. In order to earn the Platinum Trophy, players had to complete every racing challenge in the game within strict time constraints. This involved extremely precise gameplay, leading to players spending countless hours repeating the same laps in order to shave off just enough milliseconds to meet the time limits. Far Cry 2 was an exceptional game that many players eagerly invested countless hours into, but the Platinum Trophy proved to be a tall order for most. The most challenging trophy to earn were the Warlord and Soldier of Misfortune. To retain the Warlord trophy, players had to reach level 30 in multiplayer, which equated to amassing 1.5 million experience points, with each elimination and follow-up earning 15 points. Meanwhile, to earn the Soldier of Misfortune trophy, players had to achieve a diverse range of kills using various weapons, while also working towards 100,000 kills required for Warlord. For certain players, Mirror's Edge was a calming game of parkour and freerunning that boasted some of the most seamless gameplay and controls every experience on the PS3. If one wanted to preserve the fluid piece of running through the cityscape, it was best to avoid attempting the trophies. While some were relatively straightforward, many of the gold trophies demanded extreme precision and speed that only speedrunners were capable of. It's likely that only speedrunners hold the Mirror's Edge Platinum Trophy. Lost Planet 2 is a fantastic game that players can enjoy several times without ever growing tired of it. However, the moment boredom set in was likely far from the number of playthroughs required to obtain the final trophy. To start, players had to beat the game on the highest difficulty level, which alone involved at least 4 playthroughs. And if that was achieved, players had to tackle a challenge that required playing each chapter 300 times, resulting in several dozen playthroughs on the hardest difficulty. During the PlayStation 3 era, the Street Fighter 4 series of games presented a formidable challenge to gamers seeking to attain the Platinum Trophy. This accomplishment required exceptional proficiency in the game's mechanics, particularly in the realm of combat. Players looking to secure this prestigious achievement would have to demonstrate an impressive mastery of Street Fighter 4's gameplay mechanics, which demanded significant practice and dedication. Even experienced players would find that unlocking some of the trophies would require a great deal of time and effort. However, the ultimate test of skill came in the form of the Trial Athlete Trophy, which posed a significant obstacle on the path to the Platinum Trophy. In order to achieve the Trial Athlete Trophy, players would need to complete all 24 challenges for each of the 35 character trials. These trials gradually increased in difficulty as the player progressed through them, providing an increasingly formidable test of the combat skills. Ultimately, attaining the Platinum Trophy in the Street Fighter 4 games was a task that required true dedication and skill in the world of fighting games. Gran Turismo 5 holds the title of being the most challenging Platinum Trophy to obtain in a racing game. To earn this trophy, players must conquer every racing competition in the game, from the tournaments to the license tests, and attain gold medals in all of them. Initially, the trophy might appear manageable, but as the races progress, the task of meeting the time limits with high-speed vehicles become harder and harder. The Platinum Trophy in Mortal Kombat 9 is widely regarded by many PS3 players as the most difficult to attain. The My Kung Fu is Stronger trophy was a bane of many players' existence, requiring 100 wins, 100 fatalities, 150 x-ray attacks, the spilling of 10,000 pints of blood, and playing 24 hours with each of the 28 fighters. 
even if you were efficient and skilled enough to meet all of the challenges within the 24 hour requirement for each fighter, you were still looking at a minimum of 672 hours of gameplay to secure the Platinum Trophy. 